Hey guys, this video is going to be the first video in a multi-part series about how to stand up a lamp or lamp stack on Freenas Corral. This first video is specifically going to be about standing up MariaDB. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is come down to Docker, and we're going to go to Collections. And we're going to hit plus to add a new collection. For the name of this collection, we're going to put Docker Official. And for the collection itself, we're going to put the word library and hit save. Now we're going to go up to containers, hit the plus sign, and click Docker official. And we're going to scroll down through our uh, Docker container images until we find MariaDB. Click MariaDB, and I'm going to go ahead and name our container, choose our Docker host, click Expose Ports, and we're going to forward port 3306 to port 3306, and that's TCP. We're going to come over here and click Done. Um, we're going to click add volume and the path for the container path we're going to put var lib mysql on the host path browse to uh, one of our uh, data sets and within that data set I'm going to make a for our purposes I'm going to name a folder after our stack and put a folder inside that called db and hit done. We're going to go to network settings, go to bridge mode, generate a MAC address and choose an IP address that's within our uh, network that's not used and not within our DHCP range. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got a little bit of a cheat sheet here for what we're going to do for our environment variables. Um, you can go to the MariaDB uh, official uh, repository on Docker Hub, on hub.docker.com, um, and it'll have all the uh, environment variables and stuff like that you can set, right? I'm just going to go ahead and, and copy that from the MySQL uh, container that's already built in to uh, FreeNAS. So I'm going to copy these. Let me move this tab over here a little closer. I'm going to copy these two environment variables on this side. So I'm uh, going to create a root password for our, um, for our container. Well, for MySQL on our container. The name of our MySQL database, I'm just going to call this one lamp create a MySQL user that will have permissions on that database that's besides root so if you want to stand up just a MySQL container you could do that as well uh, MariaDB is a, a a lot of distros have switched to MariaDB because it's a, a fork of uh, MySQL that's staying with the GPL license. Uh, I guess Oracle is trying to do something different with MySQL. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what, but... And I'm going to leave the rest of these uh, environment variables alone. Leave those whatever the de container defaults are on that. And then I'm going to come down and hit save. Okay, so our container stood up. But we got a few bugs here to tell you guys about. So, um, well, first off, we're going to want to go advanced and 
make sure auto start is checked here and hit save. Okay, so when I first came back to my container, um, well, you can see right here, it says no ports added, but let me show you. If I do an nmap, dash st for tcp, 192.168.0.60, we made that. And as you can see right there, my SQL port is open. So that port is forwarding, but it's not showing in the GUI. Also, this seems to be jumping back and forth between a container or a, a yes, yeah, so a Docker volume that it created for Varlight MySQL and the one that I pasted in there or typed in there, uh, which is just strange. So I don't know what that's about. But our container, I mean, I guess we could just not even type one in there in the first place and just leave it going to the Docker volume. Uh, that might work better for now until these bugs like this get resolved. Um, it ignoring what we type in there and just making its own volume. But let's go ahead and go to the console. So I go to the console here and I type mysql u root dash p and we put in our test pass one and do a show databases semicolon and we can see that our lamp uh, database was created in there and our, our user uh, should have access to that database. So we're just going to go ahead and roll ahead with that and uh, that should be all there is to setting up MariaDB on FreeNAS Corral. So that completes this tutorial and we'll see you on the next part of setting up our LAMP and LAMP stacks. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.